I'm Suzanne Lomax, and I'm the Organic Chemist in the Conservation Division of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. And the field that I work in is called conservation science. And in the art world, conservation scientists are scientists who work with curators and conservators to answer questions about the works of art. So curators are responsible for selecting the art to be displayed, organizing exhibitions, and researching artists and their works and the conservators are responsible for the preservation of the collection. Here we have a breakdown of a conservation division at the National Gallery, which reflects the makeup of our collection, because we do our work almost exclusively on our own collection. This is a list of museums and institutions in the United States that have conservation departments. It's reasonably complete, but not exhaustive. Most departments are not as large as that which is at the National Gallery. Some of them are as small as one or two people. But I'll give you an idea of where conservation science departments are affiliated with museums and institutions throughout the United States. Now, there's no training program in the United States for conservation scientists, but there are three training programs in the U.S. for conservators, and I've listed them at Buffalo State College, New York University, and the University of Delaware through the Winneter program. And each of those programs take 10 students a year. It's a three-year training program. And that's for the conservation track, for people who want to actually do the restoration treatments on the works of art. For the conservation scientists, as I said, there's no training program, but there are some general educational characteristics and backgrounds um, that are pretty much common to most conservation scientists. Most of us have a graduate degree in either chemistry, physics, or material science, and there are, of course, exceptions to that. Many of us have taken courses in studio art or art history over the years. Some people in the field have double majors in art history and chemistry or studio art and chemistry, for example. And many people, before they enter the field in a permanent position, often have work in a museum or work with a private conservator. And this can be a volunteer position. It can be an internship. Sometimes people have worked on a research project at a university relating to conservation science. But I should make it clear the positions in conservation science are not that easy to come by. The National Gallery does have a fellowship position that is available on occasion, as well as sometimes internship positions, and this is often the case as well in large museums. Thanks for watching. Next, discover how instrumentation like an X-ray powder diffractometer is used at the National Gallery of Art.